Hey, sisters, how y'all doing today? Come on in to the movie with this Hollywood hood girl. Come on, y'all. I'm ready to eat, too. Come on, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, 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 y'all. I have to get some utensils, y'all. Because y'all see what we're about to eat. Uh-huh. So I... And I came into the theater, taking my seat. Let's get ready to do this, baby. Come on in, bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water, bring your food and snack, but sit and chat with who? Me, this hood girl to the hood, y'all. The first time ever, without a do, let's do this movie. Mm -hmm. the, the production is Sam's. The director is Chicken and Mac and Cheese. Y'all, this is scene one, take three. Let's roll the tape. Y'all, come on in. This is my, now, you know, I'm a little excited, y'all. This is my first time, oh, that's hot, ever in life having Sam's chicken. I saw everybody eating it. And I said, without all ado, let me try this doggone chicken. So y'all ready? Uh-huh. First, here she go. Her name gonna be called Betsy. Look at her, look how pretty she is. Uh-huh, ain't that pretty? I left her in a tray, y'all, as well. Okay, we got just enough room, huh? Oh, come on. Look here, y'all, without a do, let's say prayers. I'm ready to eat this food, it's good and hot. And uh, I'll tell y'all, this macaroni is also from Sam's. And I'm going to tell y'all what I did to it before I put it in the oven. Let's say prayers. My God, thank you. Thank you for this another day. Thank you for being the co-pilot with all of us as we was traveling to and from our destinations. Have mercy upon us, Father God, as you use us. Father God, as you bless us, as you love us. Thank you. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Thank you. I love you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen. This is a good day. A good day. A good, 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 good day. Hey, sisters. Y'all, I have some new subscribers. Thank you all for coming and subscribing. Thank you. Yeah. Come on into this sisters family. Come on in. Y'all, that's hot. This mac and cheese is from Sam's. So when I brought it home, you know, you have to bake it for 40, 40 to 50 minutes. I think that's what it said. I let it bake for 45 minutes. It's very cheesy. It looks like I did add in some um, coarse black pepper, uh, garlic powder, and red pepper flakes, uh, and just a little bit of seasonal. I've never had their mac macaroni before, but we're going to do this together, y'all. And uh, on the back side of this chicken, I have some, oh, what else? That Louisiana hot sauce. And, of course, uh, some ranch dressing because I did not make a dipping sauce. And, y'all, in this bowl, I have uh, cucumber and onion and tomato. Uh, and it's so refreshing. I'm going to put that right here. Well, we'll leave that right there because I, I want this chicken in my face. Because y'all know I'm a chicken lover. Didn't I just stop? stop you know, I had chicken. <laughs> Didn't I cook chicken on Sunday and I ate it for four days? You just can't have enough of chicken. So, y'all, let's taste the macaroni. Oh, y'all, look at, look at that. Oh, this thing is piping hot. Oh, y'all, look. Oh. Y'all got to have some. Oh, look at look, look that cheese. Oh, 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 oh. That's going to be too much to put in my mouth, y'all. Oh, y'all. Mm. Here you go. Y'all got to have a first bite. Just because y'all know this hood girl loves sharing with my husters. Oh, how do it taste? It tastes good. Okay, well, it's really hot, y'all. Let's see. And, you know, uh, I'm cooking some beef bones. Y'all, we didn't even toast, did we? Mm. I got some beef neck bones. Uh, uh, I forgot the 
channel name. Her name is Tia, though. Living with Tia or something like that. I'm sorry if I forgot your your uh, channel, but I, I lit, it'll come to me out. She did some uh, beef neck bones like uh, three weeks ago. I found them in a the store. I'm going to be doing neck bones uh, for the Sunday dinner after church tomorrow. Y'all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's spicy. Mm -hmm. Y'all, look here. I forgot to set my timer. Doing it. Doing. So I've been talking now for about five minutes. Um. Yeah, I think I've been talking about for about five minutes, huh? Y'all, this macaroni cheese is good. I put oh I, I taste some um, the red pepper flakes. It's kind of spicy and it's good. So y'all, all this macaroni, y'all know it's gonna be uh, on my plate tomorrow with my uh with my beef neck bones and cabbage greens. So mother called me yesterday. Mm. Mm. Who knew? And this was just like three dollars and fifty two cent, y'all. Man, <coughs> it's spicy, y'all. Ooh, this is good and hot too. Yeah, take a bite. Yum yum, give me some. You know what I'm gonna do? I need this. I need this hot sauce too. Oh, y'all, we didn't toast. My bad. Y'all know I'm hungry, huh? Salute, salute. Let's sip this good, good water. All my new subscribers. Cheers. Y'all, I was in the store, right? And... Oh, that's hot, y'all. This is my first bite of, of some Sam's chicken. I'm gonna see what the hype is. About to get Sam's chicken. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mmm. That's tasty. Oh, they season it, y'all. Mmm. Mmm. So anyway, y'all, y'all don't do that gristle stuff. I'm in the store on the aisle looking at some things. These three uh, people came on the aisle and she bumped me. And I said, I was waiting for her to say excuse me or something, and she didn't. So I said it for her. And I got in her face. And y'all know I'm not a ruler, girl. You know I'm all about love. But when you bump somebody, you have to say excuse me or, or something. So I got in her face. I said, excuse you. She just looked at me like I ain't have a face, y'all. I said it again. Excuse you. She didn't blink her eye. She kept going and walked clean past me. Y'all, this is not the... Th Y'all know what we're going through. This is not the time to hate anybody. It's time to come together in love. You know We're supposed to be loving each other. I don't care who you are. I don't care what your race is. I don't care if you live in a mansion. I don't care if you live in a one-bedroom box. It's supposed to be love. For all, you know?
Some things are heightened today. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Black versus white versus this versus that. Some things are so elevated from Democrat to Republican. It's some crazy stuff going on. So much division. This is not what God wants. God is about love and forgiveness. Mmm. 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 That is so refreshing. Oh my God. That's good, y'all. Mm. Take some. Mm-hmm. This is good. Mm-hmm. Mm. But y'all, it's a shame that people are just mean. Mean. For no reason whatsoever. Well, anyway, I'm not going to stay on that. I'm going to love, and I'm going to love, and I'm going to love again. Because that's what my God taught me to do. Yeah. So, y'all. Mm, looking for love. Did y'all see it last night on, on the own channel? Mm -hmm. My, my, my. I love it. But y'all, you know what? Some people, uh, the next show that come after that is uh, put a ring on it. You know what I love about that show? Now, a lot of people don't like it because we have to date other people. And sometimes you have to do that. Because if you, you, you know, sometimes you lose love for so many years when you're not married. Even when you're married, though. But these people are not married, y'all. But that that uh, counselor, man, I love her. I'm learning for her, so I'm, I ain't gonna never miss it because she has she she teaches really good about relationships, y'all. I like her, and I like the show. You know, they this testy, you know. She make them look at the truth inside of their heart. You know, let's fix it. You know, one thing. That I've always said about a relationship in every relationship and marriage is going to have some troubled times. Period. And a lot of people they don't talk it. They don't talk about it. They don't talk it through. They don't talk it over, and they don't heal, and they they just bury it. And then the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing, just elevate it all, all again, and. You know, one thing about it, if you don't get to the root of each and every one of your problems and pull that root out, it's going to continue to grow bigger and worse. Mm-hmm. It might want to see this bone. Uh-oh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. People, you know, I'm a single woman and because of my pain from almost four years ago. And I healed. But I didn't want to go into another relationship until that happened. And I'm celebrating and I love it, you know. I was telling God this morning that God, your word said that it's better to be married than to fornicate. Because, you know, I'm a human. You know, uh, I mean, I haven't, I haven't done the nasty to anybody and I'm not ready because I don't like nobody right now. And then y'all know the course, you know, somebody like you, but you don't like them like that. <laughs> so you can't get my coochie. Mm -mm. You can't get this hood, girl, girl, good, good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Nope. 
But relationships are going to struggle. Marriages is going to struggle. Mm-hmm. Every season is going to be something different. But sometimes you got to keep dating each other, you know? Find new things to do every season. Because some things are testy. Mm-hmm. And they will test you. And if you're not strong, you'll miss the lesson. Because everything, every, every, look, that cheese is still uh, ooey gooey. Every season is about growth anyway. Because mm -hmm. even when the bad things come, it's a lesson in that. You know, when I go through my trials, I always ask my God, just give me strength to take me through it. Because I know there's some beauty on the other side. Beauty. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. You know? But I wasn't this girl that I am today, or this woman, 30 years ago. Mm-mm. I had to grow. I had to be broken down mm -hmm. to come up, y'all. Y'all get that? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, this is good. Y'all know I can't eat this whole chicken. Oh, you know what? I should have did the wipe down. Ain't that old? <laughs> Was it the wipe me down chicken or something? This would have been the perfect thing, huh? Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. I know I'm smacking because this is really good. I don't like that fat though, y'all. Mm -mm. mm, that's good. I would, I would definitely buy this chicken again. Whew. I had a, a leg and a thigh, and I am full. Hmm. Yeah. What, what do y'all have on y'all agenda today? This Saturday. I'm uh, about four thirty. I'm gonna do a. Cigar video, it was requested. And so when I went to the liquor store today, I went to the cigar section and got me some more cigars as well. Uh, oh, excuse me. I only had two in my cigar box, so I had to go buy some more. But y'all know, Uh, next week, everything going to be so crowded. Oh, y'all, do you, uh, y'all know? When I went in Sam's to get uh, my tissue paper, you know, them 45 rolls. Do y'all know they only had like 10 of them, 10 packages left? I'm thinking like y'all running low again. People are running scared again. But y'all, thank God I'm by myself. It'll last me. But I have more tissue paper, so that that I just don't ever want to run out, you know. And um, I don't have nowhere to put that pack. <laughs> My um, paper towels and the other big old thing of tissue, and I don't have no more room to store it. So I had to put it on the floor of my laundry room. Oh, yeah, I'm full. Mm. Y'all, my uh, neighbor came visit me last night. We really have good conversations, y'all. Mm hmm Really good. Mm hmm That macaroni and cheese, y'all, y'all got to try it. Mm. Add to some toppings on because that uh, 
crack black that cracked black pepper. Yeah, and them red pepper flakes uh, and the garlic powder, it really did some good to that macaroni. But I can't eat no more. I'm going to try to eat some of this, This uh, my favorite uh, piece of chicken, you know. That wing, y'all know I'm all about a wing. Oh, y'all, and uh, I went to go get my uh, Cornish hens, too. Y'all, them Cornish hens... They was almost gone. Why well, can't, you know, let me get this part right here. Y'all, they was almost gone. I had to move two boxes out the way. I had to move two boxes out the way to get my Cornish hands for Thanksgiving. So, I'm pretty much done with my menu. Other than my fresh vegetables that I have to get. That I will get next week while I'm on lunch break, maybe Thursday. Well, no. Maybe the Monday, uh, the week of uh, Thanksgiving. I'll go get all my celery and all that other stuff that I use to make my dressing and my dirty rice and stuff like that. That's all I need now, y'all. Everything else I have. I, I really have everything else, y'all. So, yeah. I will not be out there. I got all my alcohol today. So I will not be out there with everybody with them last, the, what you call them the last minuteers. Mm -hmm. Y'all, my uptime went off. It's time for me to sing us out. But thank you for coming. And thank you, uh, for sticking and staying. Thank you for coming back each and every day because you know what? I always tell y'all, y'all don't have to do it. So, y'all, I'm really done eating as well. Y'all know I can't eat that much. So, but I had three pieces of chicken. So, a leg, a thigh, and a wing, that's like a three piece at the, you know, chicken house. And I did eat just a little of my macaroni and cheese. That macaroni and cheese is good. This is going to be uh, on, my, on my dinner tomorrow. Mm hmm. So look at y'all. Y'all ready? <clears throat> Get your voices ready. Y'all ready? Let's sing ourselves out. It's time to say goodbye for now. We'll have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you do today, do it good. Do it with purpose, people. And of course, do it with genuine love. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. So goodbye for now. See you soon. Catch that.